I, I'm less partial to one page, two page, three page. Like if you've got that much significant things to talk about, great. I, I would argue hiring is the most important thing a company can do anytime. But um, particularly in the rapid growth, like it's so easy to hire the wrong people and then the wrong people then hire more wrong people. And that perpetuates throughout. I, I really do believe putting a, a focus on making sure you're hiring the right fit is way better than just putting a body in a role. You've got to highlight the most important things at the top or call attention to them. Um, if you send a like, five page resume and it's all the same type and style and like it just gets drowned. Like Attention to detail is very important. Make sure that the, the individual who's reading that resume's eyes are driven and pulled to the right uh, information that will make you stand out. Hi everyone, so today I have Patrick with us who is a technical sales, marketing and partnership executive with 15 years of experience in B2B. He is a highly tech individual who has had success with people, numbers and business trends. Let's welcome Patrick on 10 Minutes of Hiring Wisdom where he will tell us about where he works, what his position is and what he does in his day-to-day -day life. Hi Patrick, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you for uh, having me on. Of course, so um, Patrick, can you tell a little, about, a little about your journey, where you currently work? Yeah, so um, I'm at TalkDesk, uh, so we're a leading CCAS provider, um, so contact center as a service, so software company, um, very focused on the customer experience and making it the best possible that we can for uh, all companies that are out there. Okay, and what, you, what is your position within the company exactly? Uh, I manage our strategic relationships with our strategic partners. So um, that stretches anywhere from product to customer success to uh, sales and marketing. So uh, very focused across the board on uh, up leveling and helping talk desk scale and then just making the talk desk solution work uh, across the, the ecosystem. Okay. I'm curious because TalkDesk recently has gained a lot of momentum. A lot of people are speaking about it. How did you come across and become a part of this company? Did you know someone in the company? Was it a referral? How was your journey into the company itself? Yeah, it's a unique story, but I feel like uh, <laughs> these these kinds of things often happen. Um, so actually, I worked at a previous organization, Dynamic Signal, um, and mm -hmm. I was doing partnerships there mm -hmm. uh, originally. And one of my former employers, uh, employees, sorry, actually moved to talk desk. Um, and he was like, we can stay in touch. And he's like, uh, there's a perfect role for you. You need to come over. Like you are the exact fit of the, the skill sets and the relationships that you have. And so he recruited me over, um, and just had nothing but good things to say about talk desk and kind of the rocket ship that was. So, um, yeah, he sold me on the position. Okay. And what were some things about TalkDesk that caused you to move from your previous position to this new position? Um, the partnership focus. Um, really, the, the organization when I came in was very, very partner focused and we've continued to be. Um, and so when you get into a sales organization um, or marketing or um, product even that understands that it's an ecosystem play and it's not just a one man show and everybody on their own, um, the exponential growth opportunities that you have are just tremendous. And that's really, um, that's what I was looking for. And that's what, that's what was offered here. Um, and also just the fact that it was such a growth company. I joined the company. I think we were 1200 employees and we're over a thousand more than that now. So we're like over 2200. Wow. So, um, super exciting to see the continuous growth, um, Investment, we raised our Series D last year. Um, continuous recognition from Gartner, Forrester. Um, yeah, uh, won the Salesforce Demo Jam this morning. So continuous wins, and it's just, uh, it's just been fun to be part of it. Okay, thank you so much for sharing that. My next question for you, Patrick, would be, um, you've been with the company for quite a while. You've seen it grow. What is one thing in terms of success that you've learned from the company or taken away from the company that you would um, speak with to other people about that would cause them to come and join TalkDesk specifically, other than exponential growth, of course? Yeah, yeah. Um, when you're growing as fast as we are, Hiring is the most important thing you can do. I, I would argue hiring is the most important thing a company can do anytime. 
but um, <laughs> particularly in the rapid growth, like it's so easy to hire the wrong people and then the wrong people then hire more wrong people. And that perpetuates throughout. It changes the culture in a negative <laughs> way. Um, yeah, your, your B players start hiring C players and they hire D players and it's just, it's bad. And so um, I, I really do believe putting a, a focus on making sure you're hiring the right fit is way better than just putting a body in a role. And so, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's been key to the success that I think we've had, particularly on our team, but across the board inside of TalkDesk is making sure you're making the right hires and getting the right people in the right roles. Okay. And what is your hiring process like that makes sure that you get the right people within your team? Um, we've got um, a, a team that's going out and actually doing the recruiting. Um, we've identified the right heads, like right skill sets, right um character but like um uh, like profiles if you will um so we give them that information um they look at like open market but they'll also look at people uh in current roles that we're interested in and then uh reach out to them um so they'll do first bet based on uh the guidance and feedback that we provide to them and then following that it's just a series of interviews but we as an interview group We'll talk amongst each other. So we make sure that like, hey, I covered this aspect, you cover this, and I wasn't sure about this, like dig deeper over here. Um, so that way we just really do make sure that we are getting the right fit for the role. Okay, so it's a lot of collaborative effort. And I think um, a lot of people usually when they get together, they can share more information about a certain person which someone might have missed on. So that makes sure that they can find the right cultural fit. So thank you for sharing that. My next question for you, Patrick, would be, is your team hiring? Your company is obviously growing and it's hiring. But I'd like to mention, I'd like you, for you to mention some of the gro- most top rated roles that you're currently be hiring for. Yeah, I mean, we're always hiring. Um, we're always looking for the right people. Um, I mean, there's plenty of sales, AE, SDR, SE. Um, there are partnership opportunities inside of the organization, product. Um, so yeah, I mean, across the board, there's there's opportunities inside of TalkDesk. Um, the TalkDesk career page, if you just uh, Google TalkDesk careers, um, a list will pop up of everything that's available right now. But yeah, I, I would encourage people to take a look. Um, it's a great organization and um, yeah, I, I'm excited about the direction we're headed. Okay, last question, Patrick, which is what are what is a must thing a candidate must do when they're applying for a job when it comes to the resumes and what's one thing that they should avoid mm-hmm. from your experience? Specific to resumes, <laughs> is that is that the question? Yes. Um, I mean, you've got to highlight the most important things at the top or call attention to them. Um, If you send a like five page resume and it's all the same type and style and like it just gets drowned, like attention to detail is very important. So I think being able to stand out in that regard and highlight the things that make you unique um, and well qualified and positioned for the role, I think, are the most important things. Um, Things not to do on a resume. I mean, I think I kind of covered that with the last part too, right? Like (laughs) creating a book and it's just like all looks the same and it's just overloaded and it's all packed. Like I'm less partial to one page, two page, three page. Like if you've got that much significant things to talk about, great. Um, But like also attention to detail, as I was saying earlier, right? Like you've only got so much time to look at a resume. So um, you need to highlight the right things and make sure that the the individual who's reading that resume's eyes are driven and pulled to the right uh, information that will make you stand out. Okay. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for sharing about your unique journey, how you ended up at TalkDesk, how your friend recruited you for it, and how you are liking your job. And for the tips when it comes to the resume building, it was an absolute pleasure learning about you, your journey, and how passionate you are about your company and your current job. Thank you so much. Thank you.